I do think that we are in for an unprecedented season of The Bachelorette. You know, it just has a different feeling right off the start. There's been so much information floating around uh, outside of the show that, um, you know, for a large degree spoils what's going to be ahead. But we're already seeing the impact. And, you know, that teaser at the end of the episode tonight, I can easily say that teaser alone was better than Peter's entire season. Uh, I think that we are in for a very bizarre ride here at whatever direction this show ends up taking. Uh, you know, we're already getting uh, pretty blatant hints that at some point production is going to stop. Uh, it seems like we at least go through a few weeks of of the show so I don't know how long Claire's journey is going to be uh, we saw a lot of clips of at least Claire in a bunch of different outfits which indicates to me that she is at least going to go on a bunch of different dates with a bunch of different people and uh, I don't I am just uh, very excited for uh, an interesting season of The Bachelorette. Uh, all right, let's get into our actual episode. You know, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this season, um, and we're finally here. One thing that stuck out to me early on when we were getting prepped for Claire as The Bachelorette, you know, they talked about her time on Juan Pablo's season and her, her moment where uh, her breakup with Juan Pablo and everything that happened there, her time on Bachelor in Paradise and her journey to get to this point, but they conveniently missed out her time on Bachelor Winter Games where Claire was uh, maybe a little bit of a disaster on that season. You know, she had one guy who was head over heels for her, another guy who was good looking, and she went for the guy who was good looking and then later got back together with the guy who was head over heels with her. But they very conveniently missed, left out that period of time from Claire's journey. And I was a little taken aback by that. Uh, you know, why not just start this season off by omitting a third of Claire's bachelor career? But anyways, on to the season, on to the new guys, on to this new circumstance that we are living under. Uh, you know, it seemed like they were at the mansion. Like maybe, maybe I misread that on the opening night, but it seemed like they were at the mansion. I was led to believe that the whole show was going to be at a resort in Palm Springs, but maybe we will get to see a little bit of the mansion. Uh, I could have been wrong there, but that's what it looked like to me. Uh, so we have a wide array of guys uh, and Claire's got a lot of d quick decisions to make. You know, we didn't get to see a ton of her one-on-ones. Uh, I think that we're with how everything is, is setting up this season that we're going to kind of see a condensed number of storylines, you know, where normal seasons we'd we'd get to see a pretty even amount of time from you know 10 maybe even 15 of the the uh, the eligible bachelors uh, this season it felt like maybe we only got to see a little bit of time with a few of them you know we got uh, a little bit of a feature on Yosef on Blake on one of the Blakes I Mal Malno uh, uh, Dale uh, J did I say Jason uh, but anyways, like that's four guys and, you know, it seemed like they were a lot of the focus on this first episode. Uh, many of the other relationships either weren't shown or weren't, uh, didn't really get any time together. You know, we saw Easy as a person who got lots of shots of, of him, but not him with Claire. So, you know, maybe he's going to be one of the characters on the season, but really not have much of a relationship with Claire at all. So I think that things are setting up very differently. Uh, I think that there's just too much information out there right now on what potentially goes down that the bachelorette is just kind of leaning into that you know why beat around the bush 
when the secret is more or less out of the bag that we're getting essentially two seasons of The Bachelorette in one and uh, that it's happening and I, I'm excited to go on this journey. I'm excited to see how we go from this reasonably normal night one. You know, we had the Tyler C and Yosef incident, which uh, didn't even seem like an incident in the end. And uh, we might as well just dive into that right now. You know, Tyler C said, uh, hey, I had some people message me that said Yosef has essentially been you know, dating or at least pursuing women uh, on Instagram and 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 wherever else. And uh, I'm just going to go confront him. So he goes and confronts him and says, hey, this is what I was told. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? And he's just like, oh, it's not true. And Tyler's like, oh, all right, that sounds, that's good enough for me. And Yosef just goes on a beeline for Claire. Claire, Tyler C was talking mean things about me. And I was like, what is going on? Like he could have just left it and and walked away, but you know, he had to go and bring it up, make the drama. And there was one very interesting point in there. And Claire point blank asked him like, you know, have you been pursuing women? And he said, and he deflected and said, no, I don't have a girlfriend which was not the answer to the question and came off to me as a blatant lie. So that's kind of interesting and uh, lots of lots of interesting things, I guess, to look forward for, to from Yosef. Um, anyways, back to the show. Uh, I did like that Claire gave a bunch of roses to guys who didn't get a chance to have a conversation with her. Uh, you know, I always feel so bad for those for those people who are on the show, you know, come all this way, have all their outfits all planned out, have their lives put on hold and don't even get to have a conversation with the bachelor or bachelorette. So good on you, Claire, for handing out some of those roses, um, because I think in a lot of seasons that that is one of the unfortunate byproducts of how this show ends up getting shot. Uh, so that's it. End of night one. Dale gets the first impression rose. Dale is the man that Claire immediately said, oh, I think I just met my husband. You know, Dale's the guy who is prominent in all of our, our promos, but who knows who she's going to pick, right, gang? Right? Um, and you know, it just sets up for a crazy, crazy shortened, I'm going to presume, season. And uh, I just can't wait for next week to we start to see how all of this madness unfolds. So I'm going to sign off for now. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later.